How do you do and welcome back to some Peglin. We're gonna try to grab a few orbs. I think our goal today is to grab a few orbs that we don't usually grab. I think that's gonna be our game plan just because I want to unlock more of the orbs in our for custom games for opening up the possibilities of new challenges and stuff for fun day fridays or things like that so if you've watched my uh, or watched the 200 subscriber special you would notice we did have a issue with that i don't know if we've ran the ether wheel since the rate latest update so we'll grab it but you can tell that we ran into an issue of not having all of our relics or not having enough orbs or the right orbs and so now today I think we're gonna try to fix that kind of get rid of or try to unlock those orbs and relics grab the ones that we don't usually grab is kind of the game plan here maybe I should have grabbed you dang um skip you Uh, ether wheel is good cool and all it's nice that it updates right after or refreshes the board right after you throw it but i just i don't know i just don't think it's that great of an orb and as you can tell we are struggling a little bit here we'll take no damage fortunately well now we'll take damage can't really hit that perfect bomb hit it's not an oh it's enough i forgot we have perfected reactant reactant we'll go ahead and upgrade you well now that we ruined that free relic i think we'll push down this left side and try to grab this one and then go into an elite fight right before the boss fight which is kind of scary but i think we'll do just fine against it if you ask me Okay. Perfect. In some way that was perfect. I don't know how that was perfect actually, so I take it back. Maybe if we hit a bomb or something here. It just one bomb and that could just wipe out so many things if you just hit one bomb. I know you can do it. You can hit this bomb. Dang. Well, you hit that bomb finally once I manually closed it or opened it I should say boom perfect accuracy beautiful we'll just get the third ball maxed out a little bit we'll head left here and grab a question mark maybe get rid of our stones or something something uh, interesting no A lot of refreshes hit there. 60 damage, that's all we needed. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a bomb. All right, so over this last weekend or last week, I think it was, I don't know how big any of you guys are into first person shooters. I know I try to consistently play one so that I can work on my skills for it in case uh, I play them. So like I re launched that, I released that uh, Overwatch video. It was kind of like a test for editing and just see, uh, learn how to edit from it. And I got to play with a few guys that I haven't played with in a long time. Um, none of you look uh, great. Maybe Bob Orb. Bob Orb might be interesting for us. I think I'm gonna grab Bob Orb. I did want that question mark as well, but that's fine. What was I saying? First person shooters, yes. And so I was pretty big into, uh, what was it? Um, Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone, whenever it came out. And I played it for, I played it a lot. And, uh, just as soon as they started doing the updates and mixing it with the other games, I just kind of got burnt out on it, got bored of it, and then 
I got introduced to a lot more like strategy roguelike games and I've been kind of playing those ever since then so I've been probably playing these kind of games for about uh, seven eight months or so six months or so I'd have to say so I'm still fairly new to roguelikes, so you know, so I don't know that much about them. I kind of am learning the strategy at it as I'm going. And so bear with me every time you see me do a mistake. It's because I have the patience of a first person shooter player and not the patience and the attentiveness of a person that plays such a high class fancy style of game. If you understand what I'm coming from. Not bad. All I have to do is hit this bomb. It'll wipe everything else out. Um. But as I was saying, uh, Warzone 2 got released and they're having some... Uh, content creators i don't know why they didn't invite me i don't understand i'm so big our channel is so big and so great why didn't they invite us to go test out uh overwatch 2 i mean warzone 2 um but i watched a few things on it honestly doesn't look i'm not too excited about it not too excited about it the loot system just seems awful i mean i heard a few people talk about the loot system uh, a few of the streamers that were playing the game talked about the loot system and they said it's like a more clunky more worse version of uh apexes which i did attempt apex whenever i did burn out on warzone just because of my friends that i was playing with they played apex right after it i could not get into apex i don't know why it seems like a pretty cool game it just seemed clunky to me now i'm not i'm no expert no uh, critic of games i just it's my opinion on it so it's not necessarily a the right opinion is just an opinion of a very average gamer playing a game. That's the best way I can explain it. We should win this fight. Just like that. Uh, Netcord Mancer, we do have it unlocked, believe it or not. I We unlocked it on a... I was trying to record before this video and I did a run with the neck orb mancer and I just so we unlocked it at the very least but it's such a bad bad orb the problem with this is we'll do zero damage but we don't have it unlocked might as well as grab it we'll do zero damage we have a bob orb so Maybe the Bob Orb will carry us. Fighting against the old, uh, the wall is a little scary. Well, I guess crits do damage. Well, that was kind of unfortunate that we hit all of our refreshes there. Ah, you do quite a bit of damage. Two, five, that's not bad. I mean, you are a level three, so I mean, it's not great for a level three, but. Four damage for a level one. Okay, I'm a little nervous here just because of our lack of said damage. You're alive with five, eh? Alive with five. Nosferbatu and uh, all orb nothing actually will grab that one. We have not had it before. Do I feel confident enough to fight an elite in this level? No, I do not. Not with the suffering. If we had the match orbs go with the suffering, I would be a little more interested in this. But as of right now, I am not too interested in the outcomes here. 
Might as well just throw you. You're just an all-around better stone at this point. I'll slow it down. Maybe we can... Oh, yes. An easy crit. Oh. You're just a better version of the stone that does damage no matter what. Oh, five left. Are you kidding me right now? All right, none of you look great. I don't think the Echo is really gonna help us at all in this just because we're not really producing any damage whatsoever. God, my nose is itching. It's itching so bad. Remove an orb, let's remove a stone. Consider it done. Yeah, an upgrade would be nice, but I'd rather dump some dead weight. Um, Bob Orb, Bobby Orb. Come on, pop off, King. You produce three bombs. All or nothing. Very impressive. Good work hitting that bomb. Boom, two bombs hit that front guy. Dag orb. Not a bad place for the dag orb. All right, we do need to hit some Boombas. A couple Boombas, if they don't mind. That refresh wasn't ideal, I would have to say. Not ideal. Oh, you didn't hit a bomb. Well, shoot. I don't know why I skipped the all or nothing. That works. Upgrade all or nothing. It's just a better version of the dag orb. And so we, in hindsight, we can probably just get rid of the dag orb. Well, I guess that's fine. Does that equal us out back out to zero? I don't think it does. I think it was two, three. Speaking that you... What's you do? Yeah, it's two, three. Well, this is all going into a shield. Maybe I should have skipped and did the dag orb. I mean, the bob orb. But I'll just check the bob orb on inside here. Well. I am a little scared on... Uh, how well we're doing these are we need the bob orb but we do have a crit right here all this damage is going to go into a shield unless we hit a bomb somehow and it's all going oh we hit a bomb so it's all going into a guy that needed 30. oh he missed please hit a crit oh, well i guess that bomb works good thing we got it the suffering. Oh, that would have been awful. Plus 10. Or heal. We'll just do plus 10. 0, 10. It's fine. Oh, I kind of forgot we can heal here. That's kind of nice. Upgrade the stone. I'd rather have the stone upgraded. Kind of want to hit the question mark. Well, hit the question mark, then cut right, and then cut right again. We're not going to fight the two elites. We'll duplicate my Bob or Bobathan. So at least we have unlocked a few orbs. A um, circles, not bad. Now our stones are actually going to be doing some work. All our orbs are going to be doing some work. Remove an orb. Let's remove the old dag orb. 
not too impressed with it currently. This. Um, ooh. Ooh, I think we're gonna take it. Infernal Ingot, special relic, a little bit of health. If you don't mind, don't mind if I do. Uh, so there was a comment talking about this little chef guy. So if I rat him out, we're fighting an elite. If I don't rat him out, I get a bribe. So accept the bribe and sneak away. I get a relic for it. So I am curious, what's the difference between me fighting an elite and getting a relic and then me just accepting the bribe and getting a relic? Is there a difference in those relics? Please, if so, please let me know. If so, let me know. Because honestly, that's probably something I should have known prior to playing this or with how much I've played this game. But honestly, I do not know. So. Chucking you with a little uh, bob orb right after is actually going to be pretty big, I would have to say. I'm pretty amazed. We're back even level with the third wheel, so... You're going to pop off a little bit, Bob Borb, Bobathan. And then I got a second Bobathan to pop off. Maybe you'll hit a refresh here. Maybe you'll hit that refresh. You're, oh, oh, oh. You're bouncing everywhere, but into the, you're, you might take out the whole map here. You hit everything but that one refresh. Pretty impressive, Bobathan. I think I'm gonna throw the other Bobathan over here. All right, oh, perfect. Good hit. Well, we have plenty of bombs thrown. So now maybe we just, oh. Oh, I hit the trash can. Imagine if we had a way to just consistently hit this one peg that's got like 22 on it. I think I'm gonna keep just smacking this peg. Oh. We are doing quite decent actually. Honestly, I'm a little impressed with how well we're doing. Look at all that damage. 1,500. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we won. Oh, yeah. Well, shoot, Bob Orb. Don't worry. We just got rid of our big pig. <laughs> well, Bob, hopefully you'll end the game here. You didn't. Don't worry. We got another big peg over here. Not too shabby. Could have been better, could have been worse. Uh, okay, now. Do we grab the Matrior... The Matriorshka shell? Do we grab the Matriorshka shell? Or the gift that keeps on giving. I feel like we might as well as grab the Matriorsha shell while we're here, since we have the glorious suffering. And now we have that. So yes, we're doing hardly no damage now. We're actually doing no damage on a lot of our pegs and we're fighting the, fighting the new boss. We'll start with the old Bobby. He only triggered one bomb, Bombathan. Bobathan. Good thing we got Ether Wheel here because these refreshes are going to be our lifesaver. Uh, none of you guys will actually make us any better by any uh, form of our imagination. 
If we had a Madri Orbs guy, I think that would make us a little better. Duplicate all orbs, duplicate a random orb. Uh, Aether Wheel is probably the best orb to actually have duplicated. If you were to ask me. Because for one, it does damage, and for two, as soon as it's wiped out, it refreshes the board. I think I might start with old Bobathan. It would be cool if you hit that refresh. But we have an Aether Wheel here. We lost health here. But we've got a Bobby. That's gonna give us some healing. Plenty of healing. Which, if we get the gift that keeps on giving instead of that, we wouldn't, we would have a lot better healing, but I'm pretty pleased with our uh, scenario we have going on here. Oh my nose. Okay, yeah, we'll go right. I just don't want to fight the red bomb fights. That's who I don't want to fight. Like these fights are perfect. Continue on with them. What's well, a 2 3 versus 2 3? Might as well just throw you on. Well, that sucked. I still don't think we did enough damage. Bobby, make something happen. I shouldn't have skipped the. that orb. Nine health remaining. Interesting moves. Nah, that works, I guess. I'm not too displeased with that. We have had you, we've had you, we've had you. All three of you don't add any benefit to us right now. Did I want to go left? I don't remember. Yeah, I do. Ugh. Red bombs. Red bombas. Just, you can't win and you can't, well, you can lose, but you can't win. If you know what I mean. There's a few bombs that are uh, doing some damage, it looks like. Well, we didn't lose too much health during this bomb fight, but I don't think we triggered too many red bombs. If I were to be completely honest with you, a swole torb? A swole torb might be a little interesting if you ask me. A swole torb on top of uh, Matryorshka? Well, we'll throw you on out here. Did you even trigger a single bomb? You triggered one single bomb. One single bomba. Perfect, you'll hit me for one and then we'll throw Bob Orb out. I think our deck is not built. It's not built in a way that we're going to beat this final boss, unfortunately because we can't produce enough damage for it. One additional refresh with refill buster is actually pretty nice. Bombs, there was a comment that was talking about it. Bombs apparently do less damage to this final boss and we are solely relying on boss um, bomb damage, especially with the lack of pegs that are gonna be on this guy's, on this final boss. You couldn't hit that refresh. Yeah, I'm a little scared here. I'm a little scared still.
Come on now. I'm not pleased with my refresh locations and the fact that we've thrown our ether wheels once already. Actually, we got an ether wheel here. So that's going to be big. Got another ether wheel that might pop off here a little bit. Yeah, we should be fine now. Oh, that was close. I was a little, I was a little stressed. I was feeling the pressure there. Crits also refresh the board. Yes, please. Yes, queen. Uh, I guess that's fine. Not great, but not bad. If we refresh, which I'm sure we will refresh, we'll dash to the flames. We don't need an inferno orb for anything. Bobathan, pop off. You didn't trigger any of your bombs, but don't worry. I have a backup Bobathan that will trigger at least one bomb. At least one bomb. Unfortunate you took a beeline straight down the shaft over there. Well, we took out the front guy. Now we have to maneuver our way through this. Which get ending with a refresh here is actually gonna be good with our swole torp coming up. Please check this out. Oh, swole torp's popping off. Refresh hit me. Not bad. It just takes a minute for us to scale up, which is kind of scary in the sense that this final boss doesn't really give us a, the time of day to scale up. Like if we're fighting the QR code or the box guys, then uh, we could scale up a little bit. What a useless relic. Well, I know I'm getting rid of a lot of our pegs for bombs here. We don't have a way to apply blind either. Okay, Swoltor, pop off a little bit here. There's a crit at least. Oh, bombs refresh too. We got that relic. Oh, that's big. Maybe we might be fine. I say that. We might also not be fine. Because it doesn't look like red bombs are necessarily refreshing as much. I think our biggest fear here is you doing one shot amount of damage which i think you're doing one shot amount of damage here oh no we're fine oh ho, ho. we are not gonna beat him here we did not heal near enough oh but that was a good attempt to run with old, uh, what was it? The Suffering and the Matryorshka shell. I thought we did pretty good with that. If we had a Matryorshka with it, or we got an early on Swole Tor, maybe we didn't go too much of a bomb build like we did with Bob Orbs. I think we might have been quite good because if we had Matryorshkas coming through, melting everything here, oof. That might be something to keep an eye out for. I, I might uh, try to make that build happen at some point. But thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to talking with you all later. If you like the video, please like it. Uh, uh, consider subscribing if you want to become part of the channel community. Um, and 
leave your comments down below with any opinions or options you got if you got input on uh, the new warzone 2 that's coming out please let me know and uh i'll talk to you all later bye